Hello again, this is Devin Murray with Attract More Families, your source for independent and private school marketing tips and business and enrollment building ideas. And today I want to talk to you about one of my favorite ideas for keeping track of what people are saying about you and your school. Uh, and this is, it's a Google Alerts, which you can find at uh, google.com forward slash alerts. I'm not sure if it's backwards in this video or not. I will go ahead and put the uh, stuff on the bottom. But what it is, is Google, as you probably know, what it does is it is out trying to find all the new content, every new web page that's created within the world, really, every day, and every place that is updated content. So when CNN or a blog updates content, they're out there looking for that. So what Google is doing is Google's wandering around the web looking for all this information. And then it brings it back and puts it into a database, and it waits for you to come in and enter a search in their search bar. That's what Google does and that's one of the biggest things that they are helpful for all of us. Well, what they've, uh, what they've also done is they've created a system where you can essentially store a search and, and ask Google, hey, whenever people search for, whenever you come across something that would meet this search, please let me know. So as they crawl the web and look for new material, if they cross something that would match the stored search that you have, they're going to give you an alert and let you know about it. That's where Google Alerts comes from and that's basically what it is. It's a place to store searches. Now if you go to google.com forward slash alerts, you will see that you have several options there. First option it does is it gives you an option to enter what search you want and I'll talk to you about that in just a second. I'll tell you what, what searches are best to put in there. But then it also gives you two other options. One is how often do you want to receive these alerts? And you can receive them either whenever Google finds it, which is immediately, so whenever they cross something that talks about what you've stored your search as, it'll tell you. You can get it daily or you can get it weekly. And I'll tell you about what what searches and when I like to get them for our business. And then the next option that does is it gives you essentially a quality option. What kind of level of quality of information do you want? Do you want only the best, which means high quality sites, uh, useful information, or do you want any time that they come across something that would match your search? So not just a page one result, but maybe a page three or a page four result, but something that Google would, would still meet your terms. So you have those options. So when you go in, you want to make sure that you are checking those out and put, the, put in what you want. So now let's go back to the previous question of what do we search for? What do we put in those search bars? What do we want to get alerts for? What do we want Google to tell us about, right? So the biggest ones which I, which I find hyper important, and I do this for myself, I do this for my clients, and I strongly suggest you do it for yourself too, is put in for your school, your school name, and any important or, or prominent people within your school. So owner, headmaster, master of school, principal, and even if you have any really um, kind of prominent people on your school board. You want to have them on these Google searches also. So that if anyone says anything about your school or someone within your program, you know, or yourself, you get notified. Because Google does crawl Facebook. It calls the news sites. It crawls LinkedIn. It's looking everywhere. So if it sees that someone has said something about your school, or maybe your principal, or maybe the head of your board, wouldn't it be good to know about that? Now with those terms, I like to have it tell me immediately, and I like it to do lowest, you know, any search results. The reason I do that is because a person's name, especially a principal, uh, you know, a, a master of school might not be prominent enough for Google to say, oh, this is someone who rates right up there with Madonna and um, Trump. Yeah, we don't rate there. So we might not get that quality score for those. So you want to make sure that you do immediately because obviously if someone says something about my school, I want to know about it like right now. And if someone said, and I want to make sure that it's not being filtered by Google's algorithm, so I want to know about it. I want to know the quality, you know, I want that information as quickly as I can and the lowest quality so that any mention of me, my school, gets brought, brought up to my attention. So I do those immediately. The next level of search that I like to enter is I like to enter community and all of my competitors. 
So I like to enter, you know, what's going on in Hudson, Ohio, especially independent schools, Hudson, Ohio, private schools, Hudson, Ohio. Tell me what is happening. So in case anyone mentions generically about what's happening in my town, I want to know. I want to know what's happening. And then I also want to know about my competitors. If anyone mentions my competitor school, their owner, their principal, any of the prominent people within their school system, within their board, I want them to, to tell me, I want Google to tell me about those. Now these I don't do daily. These or I don't do instantly. These I'll normally do weekly or daily, depending on how much I'm getting. I kind of like daily because if someone's going to say something about my program or a competitor's program, I want to know fairly quickly so I can deal with it and maybe put a marketing post out. Maybe understand what's happening and understand that question I'm going to get at dinner about, oh, did you hear something about so-and-so's, you know, how they uh, lost four of their students or how they're having a bunch of sickness going on over at the other school. I'd like to know about that going into dinner. So I ask for Google to do that once a day. And again, I do low quality just because, again, the headmaster of the school down the road might not be as prominent of a person as Trump is. And then the final level of searches or of, of alerts that I ask for is I ask for anything industry-wide. So I just have one in there for private schools, independent schools, anything like that, um, or, and uh, prominent people within our industry. So I also search uh, the National Association of Independent Schools. Anytime they put something out, I want Google to alert me of that. And now I do these at a much lower frequency. I ask for them these just weekly. Again, this is news to me. I don't need to know it right now. I don't even know it t today, but I would like to know about it. Um, and then I do also ask for these to be at the higher quality score. I don't need to know every single article from every little blog that someone's put out on the web that has three people reading it that talks about independent schools. I'm not necessarily sure that I need to know that. But I do need to know when CNN, USA Today, Huffington Post, when they say something about private schools, I want that to be fed into my news feeds. And the way this works is Google essentially sends you an email and says, here it is, and you open the, and it takes you to the alerts page, and then you can read all of your stories there. And now what I like to do is I do filter these emails in Gmail so that it works well, so they automatically go to a file so I can see when they come in, but then I can search them and read them when I want to. I actually have, have a block in my day when I look at these and in my week when I look at these. That way they're not cluttering up my inbox. So anyways, that is a great way with Google Alerts to stay on top of what's happening in our industry and with your school and with prominent people in your area and, and related to your school to stay up to date and know what people are saying about them without being caught off guard. So anyways, Google Alerts, this has been Devin Murray with Attract More Families, your source for independent and private school marketing and business growth places. Take care and we'll talk to you next time. Bye.